My name is Matthew Cabin. I'm an employee here at Colca Regional. I work in the Information Systems Department as a Systems Administrator and I had gastric sleeve January 6, 2017. So what caused me to look into gastric sleeve was more a push from, uh, from Jim Matney, our CEO, to uh, address some of the health issues I was having. I was having a lot of weight issues that were based around endocrinology issues and I started beginning to attack those uh, with a endocrinologist and then started having cardiac issues um, that I ended up resolving with our physicians here at Colt Regional that ended in ablation and then when that was done with the next step on to move after getting my heart running correctly again was then to move on to getting rid of the weight. I was around 470 pounds and just effectively miserable with life. So I was ready to look for a change and Jim Matney started suggesting I look at gastric sleeve and it was a good opportunity uh, to go ahead and move past where I was in life, try to improve some things. So I'd say what led mostly to me end up in the poor condition that I was, I played football my entire life and uh, I had a catastrophic injury uh, in my early 20s that ended up leading to me losing a lot of mobility which led to a lot of depression, things like that, and I basically just stopped caring. Uh, I stack, stack on thyroid issues on top of that, and you end up with a ballooning problem that I basically buried my hand this, head in the sand over and more or less just ignored. I, you know, I'll deal with it tomorrow, I'll deal with it next year, oh yeah, I'll go see a doctor sometime and it ended up leading to an issue that got out of control. So my coping mechanism for all this in, and just in life in general is when I get frustrated, I like to go lift heavy things. And the downside of the surgery was you're looking eight to 10 weeks that you can't lift over 10 pounds. Uh, so it was, it was very hard. I don't know that I actually found a coping mechanism. I would, I would, my wife likes to say that I get hangry or you get, or you're so hungry that you're angry. And what it is, is I'm not necessarily hungry but I get this uh, really bad protein deficiency uh, where I just if I haven't had my protein shakes for the day like she can tell there's just like there's like the, that mood swing change and I'd say for the first couple weeks there was some there was some serious hangriness going on it's definitely the worst part of the surgery is those first couple weeks you really have to start breaking these habits no matter how much dieting you did going into it I lost 60 pounds through dieting before the surgery and I thought I was starving myself uh, but post-surgery where you're literally drinking nothing but chicken broth, beef broth, effectively pure clear liquids, uh, you actually go through a whole nother level of starvation that you did not realize you, you, the human body could even withstand. It's, it's incredible how resilient we are. So the misconception with uh, gastric sleeve or any gastric surgery is that it's going to be a magic bullet. In reality, it's not. It's, it's a mechanism of change for you to change a lifestyle. Uh, with this, just like anything else, I can go through gastric sleeve and if I eat around it, I can stretch my stomach back out and I can be back to square one. I may lose weight initially for the first year or two, but in five years I could be back just as heavy as I was or before. You see this a lot with people who do lap band and stuff like that who they lose the weight initially and they're like, oh, well, I'm good, I can do whatever I want again. Uh, where with this or any gastric surgery or any lifestyle change, it literally takes the dedication of you getting up every day and saying, I'm going to do something different than I did the day before uh, to improve my life, improve my health. So with, with this, absolutely, it's, it's definitely not a magic bullet, but it is definitely a catalyst for change. What's made the surgery worth it for me is the fact that I probably put on 15, 20 years of my life. Uh, 470 pounds at 31 years old is not sustainable. I was a cardiac patient. I was... Uh, in a terrible, terrible shape with my heart last year. Uh, with me bringing the weight off, my blood pressure's dropped down. I went from being on seven or eight different pills daily just for my heart, between antiarrhythmics, blood pressure, um, Lasix, things like that. I'm now on nothing. Uh, the only thing I take daily now is my supplements, my multivitamin, and my thyroid medication, which I'll likely be on the rest of my life, but it beats the heck out of not being on a whole bunch of stuff just trying to make your heart beat anymore so that's always the nice part is at you know 31 years old you're trying to start a family and you're thinking am I going to be around for my kids to graduate high school that's a terrifying way to look at life so the idea that 
I may be here in 20 years from now is exciting. Uh, but even beyond that, I would not say that I'm an energetic person, but it seems the more weight I lose, the more natural energy I'm getting, even though I don't feel my energy level changing, apparently everyone else around me does. So that's always nice. The other plus side is, uh, you know, the simple things of like going out in public. I became very uh, anti-social through being obese. I didn't want to go out someplace because I felt uncomfortable. Oh, you know, I feel like I can't fit in this booth going out to eat someplace. Things like that really weigh on you mentally. Uh, and just being able to go out and enjoy life, being able to go someplace with my wife and not feel like I am a uh, imposition to the people around me is a wonderful feeling.